This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, well as you can see I'm not in right now, I'm uh, traveling in the US, but I didn't want to leave you guys without new videos, so I pre-recorded a few in the Assets series and this is one of them, okay? So uh, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll be back soon with more, okay? Bye! Okay guys, well in this uh, video in the Asset Library series we are going to model a mailbox, okay? So let's uh, start with a polygon plane, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it up a little bit so we can see what we're talking about. I'm gonna scale it up in this direction, a little bit in this direction. And that should be about right. And we're gonna treat this as if it were a, um, a, sheet, a plate of sheet metal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the deform menu, we're gonna go to nonlinear and bend. And now we need to uh, change the direction of our bend handle. So we're gonna hit E to rotate it. We're gonna hold down J and snap it down until we're in that direction. And then we're gonna pull it in this direction as well until we're at 90 degrees. One more, I think. Nope. Let's go back one step. And we're gonna hit Control A for our attribute editor. I'm gonna go into a bend handle and let's see if I did that correctly. Let's see, we're gonna bend it down. Okay. Let's see if we're happy with that angle. I want these sides to be perfectly straight and they seem to be, so that's good. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna drag select it. I'm gonna to go to edit, delete by type and history, which will, um, get rid of my bend deformer so that's fine we're gonna select this hit W move that up a little bit now I want it to be slightly longer so I'm gonna hit R and just pull it out a little bit more and then we we'll gonna go in I'm gonna right click at the edge I'm gonna click and shift double click on the sides here and shift click and shift click there as well yeah we're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. We're going to hit W to move down. I think he didn't take. Let's try that again. Control E to extrude. W to pull down. Like so. We're going to hit G to repeat last command. W to pull down. G to repeat last command. W to pull down. Uh, let's have a look, maybe one more. G to repeat and W to pull down. Okay, I'm happy with the overall height, shape and so forth. And while we still have these two selected, we're gonna hit Control E again. And then we're gonna hit R. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale them in. Like that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna hit escape, we'll hit Q on our keyboard. So I'm happy with how that looks uh, so far. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna double click on this edge, so skip two faces, we'll do the same here. So we're gonna shift to double click on that. And we're gonna go to uh, edit mesh and a bevel, which will open that up. We're gonna tweak the fraction a bit Let's try 0 0.1, that looks about right. Good, good. 0 0.1, we're gonna right click, go to face, we're gonna double click on, come on, double click on that face row and on that face row. Control E to extrude and 0 0.01 on the thickness, maybe a bit more, let's do, 0 0.1, that's a bit better. Okay, happy with that. Then we're gonna create a bottom. So we're gonna take a new plane right there. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale it out. We don't need a lot of subdivision there. So what we're gonna do is hit Control A. Actually, we're already in our editor here. Let's set that to one by one. 
which is fine. We're gonna jump into our top view. We're gonna hit four for wireframe mode. Hit W, move that forward. We're gonna right click at our vertex, drag select these two, move that to the back like so. And then we're gonna deal with the position here. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out a little bit more. And then we're gonna hit W and we're gonna pull that down. Now hang on, not the vertices, the object, okay? So object mode, there you go. And we'll bring that in like so. Now let's have a look. Okay, now what we need to do here, because we've got one side that's black, we need to flip that over or we need to extrude it, okay? So in this case, uh, we will be seeing the interior. So we're gonna hit Control E to extrude this guy. 0.01, which should be enough to give us a nice clean area. And we'll do the same with this guy. We're gonna go to object mode, Control E to extrude. We'll do 0.01, okay? Now, if you want this to be slightly more high poly, what you will do is you will smooth this guy out. So we'll do a test run first, we'll hit three. And as you can see, it doesn't look bad, but it needs a little bit of help in these corners here. So we're gonna want to go back. We're gonna go to insert edge loop, option box, single setting. Let's add an edge loop close to the end here. One there, and then we'll do one here, and one here, and one here, and one there. Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, and three to preview smooth. Looks very nice. So instead of preview smooth, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. Division level one is fine. And we'll hit Q on our keyboard. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to uh, create the, uh, the front here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a new polygon plane Hit W, come on, right click object mode here. Hit W, we're gonna bring that out, and we're gonna hit R to scale it up. And in our attribute editor, we're gonna set the subdivision level to one by one, which is fine. Hit E to rotate it, hold down J as we actually rotate it until it's perfectly horizontal and then we're gonna hit R and we're gonna push that way down like so we're gonna switch views we're gonna hit W move it down like that R to scale that in like so and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that edge control E to extrude W to pull up G to repeat, W to pull up, G, W, and just keep on going. Okay, GW, and now we're gonna hit R, GW, and R, GW, just keep on going.
Okay. So now that we have that, we are going to go to object mode. Just check that out for a sec. W to move that in. Let's zoom in. Pretty close. What we're going to do next is we're going to right click that edge and we're going to double click and select the entire outer edge. Hit Control E to extrude and W to push in like so. And then we're going to hit um, Control E again. R to scale in very, very slightly. And what I'll just do to make sure that we're good, yeah, back a little bit. G to repeat, W to pull out, G to repeat, R to scale out. And now we need to make sure that we have the same dimension. So let's have a close look. While we can still reach our handle here. Yep, that's good. And then G to repeat and W to push out like so. That's fine. Then we're gonna go to object mode. We are going to hit Control E to extrude the whole thing. 0 0.01 to create that thickness. And then we're gonna right click at object mode and we're gonna hit three to preview smooth. You can see it's too rounded, which is fine. We'll fix that, we'll hit one. We'll go back in. We're gonna go to insert edge loop. We're gonna add one here and one here. And one down there and that should fix it. Q on a keyboard, hit three to preview smooth. Fine. We'll hit W and move it in. And as you can see, we need to adjust it slightly. So that's okay. We're going to hit R and we're going to scale it just a little bit, not too much. Like so. Looks good. Alrighty. And this guy is preview smooth right now. So I'm going to hit one to go back and I'm going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And then we're going to borrow this guy. So we're going to control D to duplicate W to move it over E to rotate it. Hold down J as you do like so hit W to push that back in. We're going to look at it from this view hitting four so we can see how far in we are this is going to be our hinging part now let's make sure that our pivot point is all the way down so hit the insert key move the pivot point all the way down and technically the pivot point should be here because that's where it's hinging and we're going to hit e and we're going to rotate that open. Okay, that gives us that. Now, if you want to be really detailed about it and you want some hinges, um, the best way to simulate that quickly is to take a polygon cylinder. I'm going to pull that out. E to rotate, hold down J. Snap it horizontal and hit R to scale it out. Then we're gonna go into the attribute editor. We're gonna do round cap. And then we're gonna increase that to, let's say 10 or so. And we need to decrease that length to round that out. And we'll stretch it out in a different way. We're gonna jump to our top view. We're gonna right click go to face drag click these faces and hit W and pull that out. And if you want to be really 
nuts about it, you can take these uh, vertices in the middle and kind of position them like that. Okay, so that's going to be our hinge, or at least one of them. Uh, let's see where we're at. We're going to bring that in. F to zoom in. We're going to hit R to actually go to modify and center pivot first. Then we're going to hit R. We're going to scale that way, way down. And w should be somewhere around here. Control D to duplicate. Let's do one over here. And let's have a look and see where we're at. Okay, so we've got them both selected. Bring that down. We have to zoom in. That's basically where you want them to be. So, and then what we can do is manipulate this guy have to zoom in. So we would do this. Now, if you're going to animate the uh, the front lid there. I would recommend leaving it in the position it was, but other than that, I think this looks okay, right? So we need to put that thingy on the side. So, uh, and we'll do a pole in the bottom. Let's do that first. We'll uh, take a quick cube. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna pull that down. Let's scale the whole thing up a little bit. want to have a clear view let's do here right click at a vertex drag select bring that way up after zoom in okay that looks fine then we want an overall height that kind of suits our purpose. I think that's fine. Okay, and then we got that little thingy on the side. We'll take a uh, polygon cube for that. Let's pull it out. Hard to scale that up. Let's push that in. And we're gonna go to Insert edge loop. Let's do one about here. Q on a keyboard. Right click vertex. Drag select. And hit W and move that up. Yeah. Sorry about that. And then we're going to right click and go to face. Select that. Control E to extrude. W to pull down. Like this and maybe we'll make that a bit thinner so we'll go to edge double click on that edge and that edge looks like I didn't get everything so let's try that from this view we'll uh, right click go to vertex and we'll drag select these vertices that looks a little bit better okay all right, so let's get this thing into proportion. We're gonna bring this in. We're gonna hit R to scale the whole thing down. Yeah, go away. Uh, let's see, come on. W, let's bring that in, bring that up. We're gonna jump into this view. Have to zoom in. R to scale down. Zoom in. I'm happy with that location. I have to zoom in again. Okay, we're going to bring that down a little bit and bring that in. Like so. And finally, we're going to take a polygon pipe. W to pull that out. 
to rotate, hold on J to snap it. F to zoom in, R to scale in. Let's do 40 on subdivision and 0.7 on the thickness, which is good. Let's get that into place. Move in W and up and over. Let's have a look from this view. Have to zoom in. Let's see if we can see anything if you do this. No, we cannot. We'll turn on our x-ray. That helps a little bit. So I want to pull this up and I'll show you guys in a sec once we did that. Okay, so uh, let's see. We are going to bring it in like so. Decrease the thickness a little bit. All right, and then we need to have some sort of semi-sphere to finish that up. And basically we only need half of it. So we're gonna hit E to rotate it until we're at 90 degrees. We need to jump to our top view, right click, get a face. And maybe even more than half, we'll get rid of that. We'll take this guy in object mode, come on. Object mode, yep. Yeah. W to move over, move in, F to zoom in, R to scale down, F to zoom in again. So this is the opening that we need to fit into. And W to move in, and R to scale back slightly. So let's have a look. W, bring that up like so. Let's see. Four for wireframe mode. Just gonna level that based on our horizontal and vertical sections here. And we can go to mesh and smooth if you like. Hit enter. Okay, so this is our middle box, right? I'm just gonna drag select it. I'm gonna go to uh, mesh and uh, combine. And there you have it. I'll uh, pause the video, I'll set up a quick render and I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, this is a uh, quick and dirty render, but nevertheless, you get the idea. This is uh, what our middle box looks like. Uh, you can uh, tweak it if you need multiple and, uh, you know, kind of uh, ding it and uh, color it and so forth. But all in all, that's it. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the modeling tutorial. If you have any questions, as always, let me know and love to see you guys back. Thank you. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.